want to talk a little bit about my health because a lot of people have been wondering and I haven't uh, I haven't given you guys an update and I kind of feel uh, feel like I owe you uh, a little bit of an explanation of what's going on with me. So for those of you who don't know, I discovered that I had a tumor in my leg inside of the bone uh, some months ago. I will explain a little bit of the differences between this type of tumor and a regular tumor. Because it's in the bone, it actually doesn't necessarily matter so much if it's cancer or not cancer because as long as it stays in the bone and doesn't grow, that's all that really matters. And this is not medical advice. This is just my understanding of advice that was given to me. I got eight different opinions from doctors, including some of the top doctors that I had access to. I have pretty good insurance here. And the consensus seemed to be to wait and check on any growth. And I was specifically advised that even if I were to get a biopsy, this particular type of uh, tumor has a tendency to provide false negatives, meaning that they'll pull some cells out and test it and say, oh, it's, it's benign, you're, you're all good. But then later it may turn out that some other part of the tumor was malignant. So uh, again, this is not me telling you this, this is just what I was told. So they said, you can do a biopsy if you want, but it's not really gonna tell you anything unless it tells you that, that it's cancerous. And even if it is cancerous, if it's not growing, it doesn't really matter. The, the key thing here is, is it growing? So uh, they told me to wait for three months and then uh, check again. So I have done that. Now, the original reason that I went into the doctor was not that I suspected I had a tumor. It was because my knee was hurting due to an athletic injury. Because if you can't tell by my amazing physique, um, you know, I'm some kind of athlete anyways. And... My knee was hurting, so I went in. So an update on that is my knee does not hurt anymore and is for the most part healed, although I'm still not doing cardio and running because I want it to be really just healed all the way back to normal so I don't risk ha that happening again. When I went in for my follow-up, the doctor told me that the tumor had not grown, which is the best news. I tell people the only way that the news could have been better is if they said, Oh, tumor? What tumor? You know, uh, the guy who did your, your x-ray, we fired him. He was uh, just scanning his own leg and, and pretending that that was every, uh, every patient's leg. You know, he's the one with the problem, not you. You're good, buddy. Uh, that's not what they told me, but they gave me the second best news, which is, um, which is that it hasn't grown. It doesn't technically mean that they're sure I don't have cancer, but it doesn't really matter because it's not growing. So that's the best news possible. Now, one of the reasons I haven't wanted to share this is because it's been for me emotionally kind of a, a roller coaster and kind of straining and very stressful but at the same time I recognize that in the public arena when you're making videos and you're talking to a lot of people it's kind of weird to say like oh I might have cancer probably not but you know this is very stressful for me because it you know there's people out there that definitely do have cancer that are really having a hard time and I don't want to take anything away from them but I just want you to know that for me personally, in my life, in my mind, it has been very stressful sitting around for three months not knowing what's going to happen. But uh, thank the heavens that um, for now it seems fine. So the next steps are I need to check again in six months. And then I have to check again every year, basically forever. And if it starts growing, then I have to do a, a surgery to remove it. So that's the, the health news that I have is that uh, everything seems the best that it could be under these conditions, and uh, thank you everybody for asking. I've had hundreds or thousands of people ask how I'm doing, an update, you know, what's going on with your leg, and that really has made me feel like people out there, at least topically, care. They're interested to make sure that I'm doing okay, and that, that really does feel good, so I appreciate that. Thank you. If something develops, and if I do end up needing surgery, if the tumor grows or anything like that i'll definitely let you guys know but for now i think uh, i think i can put that behind me